Hello, are you wondering about the information you're getting on a daily basis from mainstream media? Is it accurate? Well, here we are at the Wealth Transfer. Welcome. And here we are going to discuss biblical principles, global economics, and help fill in some of those answers. Hi, my name is Terry Saka, and I am along with Pastor Dr. Charles Vance. Welcome, folks. Glad that you're along today. Hope you stay around for the next little bit. Got a scripture verse you want to share with you. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1 says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. What's that mean, Terry? Well, I tell you, that, if it's, <laughs> this is kind of where we're going with this. It's the fiat currency. What world. do you mean by fiat? Most I people know, don't know that. They don't understand that. And that's why what we're getting in the media today is it really accurate information, or is it just kind of slanted towards what they want us to think and, under, and feel, I guess we could say. This is fiat, meaning it's fake. It's not measured by anything of value except a handshake, a good faith and credit of a nation that is tens of trillions, actually 200 trillion in debt. So fiat means fake. Remember now, we were just uh, doing recently the history of money, Charles, where these, we we're explaining that the U.S. dollar, by constitutional definition, was grains of silver, grains of gold. But in the 70s, we came off that standard, mm -hmm. and we went Federal Reserve note. And if you notice what's in your wallet right now, on the top it says Federal Reserve note. Well, a Federal Reserve note is a debt obligation. It means we, technical terms, are enslaved to somebody else. Somebody owns us. Kind of like an IOU, isn't it? Exactly like an IOU, Charles. And it, what it is, is in the day, the U.S. dollar was a free instrument because it was backed up by mm, silver, silver, and therefore nobody owned it except for the bearer of. Now, granted, this is done in a Federal Reserve note that it's good for debts and obligations to the bearer of. So if I hold a dollar bill in my hand, Someone has to have it as an obligation. They have to take it, and it's good. I can use it. Well, that's what the legal tender laws do. Yes. Legal tender just simply means that you have to accept it for payment of a debt, and, and, it, and it's, a, it's a United States law. They that's put right. it in place because they knew if something wasn't backing the silver, uh, backing the currency, it, they used to do this. You'd take this to the bank, and they would give you a note that said you had this that's right. in the bank. So yes. you could take this and trade it to someone else, they could take this back to the bank and say, I want the silver that Joe Blow left in the bank. He gave me the note. Here it is. And they would yes. have to give you the silver back. That's right. It doesn't well, work like that anymore. Now these are all we have. So when we do goods and services, I give you the note, you give me a note, that's it. We have nothing but a piece of paper. But it's not tangible value. And the best example of this tangible value, let's just do this kind of real quick. I was with a colleague who actually deals in collectible currency notes, uh, more of in estate dealings and auctions and such. And he had a gentleman come uh, to him and sold him $200,000 of old $20 bill notes that are from the 1930s. Great Depression. Apparently, it was his grandfather's house or something. He had it stashed in the walls taped up to the, the parts of the wall. And so he was selling the notes. They actually had value for collectability. But at the end, he did this question. He said, Terry, you're not going to believe this. He goes, this $200,000 right now, even though it was buying power more then, the $200,000 is only worth 200000 today because it was in the note, the currency paper note. And he said, if they would have actually, instead of holding the paper note and put it in the wall, if they would have put the gold coin, $20 gold piece in the wall or the silver in the wall, he said, right now, that $200,000 today would be worth a staggering $12 million. That's crazy, isn't it? Now, this is what we're talking about. That's less about. than 100 years. Less than, absolutely. And I mean, even if it was just in the last 10 years, people would be astonished at the sure. equation. So as we're coming out with, you know, are you getting information that is truthful? This is something we need to investigate because we are being led down what I would say a rabbit hole of, of 
I wouldn't go as far as, but it's similar to like a mind control type of thing where they're manipulating the thinking and our action reaction to truth. They keep making us think this is real, yet for those who've stored this all through history, you can see now infinitely poorer. Those who've stored this all through history, infinitely wealthier. You know, people that have watched this program for any period of time at all, we, we have talked back and forth how that there's been all kinds of currencies that have been created in the United States since the 1600s. Were we just talking this morning, Charles? You mentioned uh, this was great. I remember, and I love this uh, curriculum, uh, the Webster's curriculum. I was thinking that would be a great homeschool curriculum. But uh, Charles was talking about the Webster's. Noah Webster's yes. History of the United States of America. It was actually used for school curriculum. Oh, see, uh, I want to do that. Ooh. That I think it, is great. It, you can buy them. They're out yes. of print, but what the some people have done, some publishers have gone in and photocopied them, and they're rough looking, but yeah, you know, I mean they're still very readable. Uh, but he talked about the colonies issuing currency when they needed money before before we ever became the United States of America. Hmm. They they began to create currency and always without fail, it it had a demise to it. It it would hmm. eventually uh, normally well every one of them that I've read about so far they would give them pennies on the dollar yep. for what they had printed because they just kept printing and kept printing. They found out it was easy to print the, the fiat currency. And uh, because of it, uh, the value of it decreased, just kept decreasing because they kept printing it. And, and there so was they nothing would go to these, back it. And they'd go through these problems, they'd have to redo the currency. Yes. And this is kind of where we're getting at because when we talk about honesty in the media, what we're saying is, now, individually, my guess, most of them are probably coming across as genuine to what they think. But the ignorance and the Luciferian control of the world system has them deceived. So a lot of them, they just may not know. But what Charles alluded to, these have gone to zero constantly. Our nation has seen their dollars go to zero I don't know how many times. I'd we've love had, to get that we, number. We've had four national banks. Four national banks. Nationals. I'm not talking about call it the currencies yes. of the colonies. Right. Uh, and all of them, this is the last one. Yes. Uh, and they keep printing it. Now, so, this, I mean, what can happen to it? This is the last one because this is when we came off the gold and silver standard of the 70s. Mm -hmm. This is now known as a Federal Reserve note. And the scary part is a note is a debt instrument. It means someone owns you. Now, mind you, the Federal Reserve is not federal government. They're a private bank, not regulated in that respect as a government agency. That was agency. the biggest revelation that I ever had in the financial system was to understand that the Federal Reserve Bank, first of all, they're not federal, that they don't have anything in reserve, and they're not a bank. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the whole, just the name of it is so deceptive to Unbelievable. people. Unbelievable. Because people think that the United States government is operating the Federal Reserve Bank, but actually the rich folks of the world and it's not just American folks. There's more people on the board of directors for the Federal Reserve in the U.S. Uh, that are foreign than there are American people. And why is this important? Because we've gone through our history and illustrated over, over time here on the program how we've gone to zero and then started something new. We're contending that this is well over a 40-year-old experiment, not a really experiment by design, use of the Federal Reserve note. And with the pressures of the global economy collapsing, with the pressures of the East rising, with the Chinese moving their currencies into the IMF system, we are saying that there is a reckoning that is really close, let alone, as we talked before in this great series of the Shemitah and the cycles of debt forgiveness, we're coming upon a Shemitah this September. I think something big is coming. Now, most professionals say, oh, it's 20 years away at least. I'm contending, don't be surprised if it's quicker than you think. Our economy is not being truthful about just about everything. And this, I really believe, is getting ready to come to a reckoning again. What can we do is protect ourselves out of this fake fiat currency with our long-term stored savings, holdings, retirement accounts, diversify ourselves, be in a better place long-term. Because remember, $200,000 from that gentleman 
60, 70 years ago is now 12 million. And wait till you see some of the equations we've done on some of the others. So what can we do? How do we get started? Well, there are some ways we can do that, and here is some of that now. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. Now the reason we started out this way. It, it, it was kind of a negative overtone of, of dishonest information. Uh, although, you know, we've talked about numerous times, Charles, how the world system is controlled. Bible says, who's the God of the world, right? Yeah, Satan is Satan, the God Lucifer, the, the fallen one. He's not talking about the earth. It's, it's important for people to yes. understand that. He's talking about the system that is in the earth that yes. is operating. The currencies, your government, <laughs> sure. your media, your music. And, it, and, and I don't think there's any way at, at, at present for us to escape that. Jesus, I don't think so either. Jesus said yes. you're in the world. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on. We're not done with that. You, Jesus said we're in the world, but we're not a product of the world. Of That's the in John world. chapter 17. He says that over and over again through there when he's praying for the followers, his followers, and the people that will believe on him. Yes. Now, what we run into is thinking, well, nothing we can do about it. You know, Satan's running everything, but there is stuff that we can do about it. Absolutely. Because as individuals, we actually, I did a series of messages not too long ago entitled An Environment Within an Environment. We can create an environment for ourselves yes. in the middle, the, Paul said, in the middle of a perverse generation, uh, a, a generation that has gone backwards, that we can be successful not only be lights that shine to the world, but we can be people that are successful, productive, that we have the will of God going on in our lives during, right in the middle of a mess. Uh, and it's not impossible for us to do that. Mm -hmm. It takes us managing properly, understanding what's going on, what Satan's trying to do within the system, yes. and then coming out of that thing and being separate, God says, and, and God calls us His children. If we're His children, we're His heirs. If mm -hmm. we're His heirs, we're co-heirs or joint heirs with Christ. Mm -hmm. That means that what Christ has, we have available to us. And even the mind of Christ, I could almost start preaching on this stuff. Well, I mean, but it, think about mm -hmm. what you're saying. Everything is so relevant to what we're talking about right now. Certainly it is. Because if, like in that gentleman's case, he was storing what the world gave him which was a dishonest weight and measure because they print it, print it, print it into oblivion where today we are exponentially trillions in the hole. And yet if he would have stored instead of the 200,000 in his wall in these paper notes, as we got people today that tell us uh, the velocity of money is, is ferocious, meaning people are holding on to it. People are storing more money in mattresses probably today than ever before. But why are they storing this? People, Where that guy would have had 12 million to his heirs if he would have stored what God gave us, which is gold and silver. Terry, I think some people don't understand what tie that the Federal Reserve banking system has to the federal government. Because, you know, if we listen to the news, they'll say stuff like the feds, mm -hmm. uh, and they'll mix it with the federal government yeah. and with the Federal Reserve Bank, and sometimes you don't even know what they're talking about it unless you hear them say it in context. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and they try to merge it. I don't know if some of the reporters just don't know. I think they just don't know. I, uh, uh, yeah. But but some people do know. And the, the business deceiving. world certainly knows what's yes, going on. Absolutely. Uh, but the the general public uh, does. I don't believe they understand the tie that the federal government has to the Federal Reserve Bank. I've had people say stuff like this. I've even thought this. Why in the world would the federal government allow such a crooked system? to keep operating in our government mm -hmm. uh, as so, so deceitful as the Federal Reserve Bank, but there's something at stake for them. That's right. The Federal Reserve government is actually borrowing money from the Federal Reserve banking system, so they make laws that will 
give them favor. You and I can't do what they're well, doing. And that, see, and this is where we're not stopping it. And we're not, this, a lot of people it's are being, all... It's being fed. Yes. A lot of people are all, oh, let's, you know, this, uh, and I, I even, there's a senator, I know a congressman have said, you know, audit the Fed, let's do this. I get that. But again, when you're dealing with the elite, you're not stopping this. This is, I believe, biblical. I believe what we're doing is we're marching towards the one world system, one world government, more than people realize. You're not stopping it. But a good colleague of mine said one time, if we're not stopping it, we're not going to be able to stop it. It's too powerful. It's Luciferian. It's by design. And so you're, you're not going to be able to do anything. So what do you do? And, there, and there's too many people that have jumped on board with it. Well, because uh, they're in the system of Lucifer. Exactly. Yes. That they're deceived yes. by what's going on. Right. And, and they'll, some people will fight you. I mean, oh, they'll get in I your know. face about it. Well, we're, that, that we're going to transition right from that statement because this is where I want to go with this today. Not only do they fight you, they will flat out call you foolish. Mm -hmm. They will attack you. Sure. They will insult you. And I'm talking about your community banker. I'm talking about your financial advisor. I know people that say, oh, but he's a Christian. I, my heart goes out. But if your job's dependent upon the fiat currency system, you're in the world of the Luciferian control. What Charles said is so important because the deception is on our wealth to our children, our children's children, mm. and the church. Was, and what's coming is going to be huge. Was, it, it was either Paul Volcker or Alan Greenspan uh, that had said some things. We actually played some clips. I can't remember which mm -hmm. one. Federal Reserve Chairman, mm -hmm. Federal Reserve Banking Chairman. Right. And now they have gone to work for one of the uh, silver guys. Oh, that was Greenspan. Guys. Greenspan. Yeah. Uh, He'll even tell you gold is money. <laughs> yeah. He flat out will tell but you. But what's I mean, funny is when he was with the system, he was with the system because uh, it was his job. In all fairness, though, to Greenspan, and I, I, even though he's the architect of the, you know, the downfall, he even followed. If you see, we did a chart one time, I remember, Charles. He used to set interest rates with the price of gold. So as gold was going up, interest rates would rise with it. It wasn't until the mid-90s when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, interest rates separated from the gold price. Greenspan always had a ratio of the gold and, gold and the interest rates. So go, he would acknowledge gold was always money. In the mid-90s, all of a sudden, it completely went in divergent ways. If, we, if you ever get into our, a good series, you can go to Cornerstone Asset Metals to the Wealth Transfer page, watch the Shamita series. In the mid-90s is when we actually had a major collect correction in the bond market, which is debt forgiveness, on a Shemitah cycle. And since then, we've been doing the Shemitah cycles. We have, you'll notice that every major uh, economic problem that we've had uh, has been a, a, kind of aligned to the whole Shemitah. So I believe that the disconnect between the gold and the dollar was in the time frame when the Shemitah started really activating. My guess is when we, Charles, really were kicking God in the, in the teeth and saying, you know, we're more immoral than ever. I think mm -hmm. we've, you know, we've seen it. Our society, we don't have to tell all of you, right? I mean, just look around how, I don't know, degraded and, and almost deteriorated our moral fabric is. And very perverted. Uh, Extremely it, 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 perverted. And all perverted means is something has turned backwards I what know. it's supposed to be. So, but my point with that is, is if, if you're making an income from the bank, I mean, if that's your source of income, obviously you're going to be on the base side probably. You, absolutely. I mean, you're probably not going to be there slamming your business. You know, in all fairness, sure. And that's what I mean. In all fairness to bankers and financial advisors, they're just doing a job. And, and, and families probably, and listen, right? Listen, most so. of them that I've talked to don't have any idea. Now, now the, no the, clue. The, the guys that are the big guys in the bank know how the bank operates. Even the mm -hmm. big guys. Now, we have some connections at, at, you know, that go pretty high, and even they, at certain levels, they still don't know. This is a Luciferian deception, yeah. so even at the highest levels, they don't get it. And the reason we're saying this, we have seen more trouble, Charles, in bankers and financial advisors telling folks how ridiculous, how 
foolish something is. They're so personal with you because they're looking at you in the eyes. And they're, they're your friends. But are your friends looking after your future? Because here's the facts. The financial advisors and bankers have been wrong the whole time. 200,000 years ago is worth 12 million today. The bankers have been lying and wrong. Not maybe on purpose, but definitely in the Lucifer system. The advisors, financial advisors, they can't get you into physical, so they slam the physical. But yet, in just 10 years, this has lost 40% of its buying power, your ability to buy foods, goods, and services. This has gone up hundreds of percent. So in just 10 years, $100,000 is really only worth about $60,000 in buying power in your dollar. In 10 years, if you would have been storing it in this long term, your buying power for 100000 is worth $300,000, $400,000. What would you want in your wallet? 400000 or sixty? And advisors and bankers are telling you this stock market bonds and this is the only way to go. You're crazy if you do this. Yet the facts <clears throat> say you're crazy not to do this. So as you can see, what I'm illustrating is the mirror effect of Lucifer to God's world, God's system, because he gets close to it, but then you're deceived that takes you down the path of destruction. And financially, for those that are in bond stocks in this, over time, you're definitely in destruction. For those that have been saving this their whole life, infinitely wealthier. So we want to illustrate that. And so a lot of folks are saying, well, retirement accounts, your IRAs, what can we do about that? Here is something you can do to get started, because remember, knowledge is power. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. And like I'm saying, this isn't personal because I don't really know any one person attached to what we're saying. But in general, if you're getting your advice from the banker or advisor, you're getting a half-truth, and the facts and the data prove what we're saying is right and what they're saying is going to lead you in the wrong place. So remember, they're personal, they're your friend, but have they been right? No. And are they going to be right going forward? I guess that's yours to pray about, but they haven't been all along. So I want you to really take this serious because if you're protected, the church will be protected as a whole. Look at image number 12 here. It's a 200-year price index. Now, this is important to understand. 200 years now. Look at that difference. Annual consumer prices of goods and services we buy. Look at the War of 1812, Civil War, World War I, II, Vietnam. If you've noticed, most of the prices stayed kind of consistent, right? We were in the gold standard then. Look what happened when we came off the gold standard. Skyrocket prices. Now, you can take that off. No, Terry, that, that's simple. simple uh, I mean, that uh, was about uh, as clear a view uh, as you can get. A simple explanation of that I want people to understand is what you could trade a dollar for at that time. That's correct, absolutely. Well, when they like, went off like the, sugar and flour no, and still, cars and uh, horses. And, when you could still go to the bank, and this was kept in the bank, yes. and they gave you the note that says, yes. your silver is in the bank. You could trade this, and it was just like your silver, except you weren't carrying it. That's it was right. in a safe. That's right. When they did away with this, I want people to understand this. When they did away with this, they started printing more of these, and more of them. And what and did more it cost? And more of them. It caused inflation. Did you see that price right there? Certainly. Once they then got rid of that, takes that's more what of these now yes. to buy the same thing. Yes. And you, you were talking about the 10 year thing that 40%, uh, you, wages have not gone up that much. No. Nobody that I know anyway. That, Charles, is the argument. They keep saying, oh, but your wages go higher. We're making a lot right. more than we did. Yes, we are. But if you crunch the numbers, they do not 
Equate. And you could take silver and gold and still today actually can exchange it for more goods than you could before the Vietnam War because yes. this has so much more value relative to what the dollar is supposed to have. Yes, and let's leave that with this uh, for this program at least. Wait till we get into showing even more about where we're going on this whole deception part. But as Charles, you just said, in Vietnam War, you could take this and get five gallons of gas. You could take this and get five gallons of gas. They were pretty equal. They divorced, they separated. Now, I have this, I store it in this instead. Today, when I go to sell it, this is what Charles is alluding to, I can not only buy the same five gallons of gas as I did in Vietnam time, I can buy double, almost nine, 10 gallons of gas. Today, or back then in Vietnam era, I could buy five gallons of gas with this. Today, everybody knows, we all do it, a half a gallon? What would you rather have for your retirement, your future, and your wallet? Something that can buy you over all these years nine gallons or something to buy you a half a gallon? This is what we're talking about here. The information we're being fed is extremely deceiving. We're not stopping it. It's not about fighting the system. Forget it. It's about being smarter. And if, here's what my colleague said. I never finished that statement. If they're going to do it, then you get on the right side of the fence. Meaning, if they're going to do what we know they're doing and printing, printing, you saw that price chart. Then you store your wealth in this, and over time, you not only match your buying power. Remember, it's about what you can buy with a paper dollar, not what you think it's worth on paper the number you see. So keep that in mind and know that this is a fractional banking system and it's something that we want to pay attention to. So for, for now, God bless you and we'll see you next week. Hey, tell somebody about the program. We're on at the same time every week on this station. You can also go to cornerstoneassetmetals.com and watch these programs on demand. We would love to have you along next week. Tell somebody about the program. For Terry Saka, I'm Charles Vance. We'll see you next week for The Wealth Transfer. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. 